What's up, peeps? Matty D here from the Black, helping you achieve emotional, financial, physical well-being, and your, uh, your, uh, you know, men's, women's coach. Help you get over your, uh, help you get over your parents. Sorry, help you get over your emotional crap from your parents. I been a long work day. Uh, it's my mind's a little fuzzy. But I want to shoot this for you on this video's about you know part two and how to make more money. And I'm gonna recommend a book that I uh, bought years ago, um, 2013. Yeah, yeah, 2013, by uh, Tony Robbins, um, called Master Money, Master the Game, because it's really, it's really all a game to, you know, everything we have that we're doing here, and, um, now, the first video I, I had, I've done, is about really, um, becoming more aware of just how easy it is to make extra money outside of your job, it's really, you know, your awareness is key. If you're not aware of stuff, you can't really change a problem. You're stuck in what you think you know compared to what else is there to help you out. So this is all about figuring out, you know, assisting you in figuring out how much money do you need now. And, and he lists in the book, I'll, I'll put the forums below, you know, there's five levels of, what does he say? If I can remember, like financial levels of strength, whatever you want to call it, right? And you know, there's three to he he says in there he writes in there three to thrive, and the first three are financial. Try to remember financial security, financial independence, and financial vitality. Now, financial security is really how much money you need to have pretty much all your expenses paid for. You know, without you having to work basically, and um. So that's it. And then the next level above that was financial vitality, which is basically having your expenses, okay, and your and some of your stuff that you like spend on your toys, luxury items, have that paid for, you know, was really without you having to work, I do believe. Okay. And the third the one above that was financial independence, I think. No, I'm sorry. Financial independence is the one where it's I forget all the terms. Basically, there's three, three, three different levels right now. And basically, um, the formula to calculate the first two, I do believe, are all three, is taking, you know, your rent, utilities, um, luxury items, all the things you spend money on, all, all your monthly bills, you take that, add them all together, multiply by 12, 12 months in a year, and that tells you how much money that you need to have in order to achieve each of these goals basically and I'm telling you now a lot of people and, and I, did, I avoided this for a long time because the reason the main reason a lot, a lot of people don't do this is because of fear it's fear of this fear that if you if that if that by doing so at least for me the fear was holy crap I'll figure out I'll find out that I'm in a situation much worse I can't get out of it oh my god I'm gonna die and it sucks Okay, and that fear is what sets, keeps you from achieving the goal of making more money, having a life that's where money's not a problem, you don't worry about it anymore. If you don't know, it's it's like it's like it's like it's like driving. You want to go somewhere, you you know, and the GPS, the GPS has to know one the end goal, two, it asks you well, where are you at. And imagine if you're afraid of putting where you're at where, where you're at in, in the GPS to, to get to where you want to be. No one would get anywhere, if anything, by chance. So, it'd be, it'd be crazy stupid, right? You wouldn't do that when, when it comes to directions, but people do it all the time when it comes to money. And it's like, why do we do this? Well, long story short, I won't get into it right now, but in our society, you know, it, it conditions us to, to be fearful about money, this thing that we all want and need more, but then we tell ourselves, oh, I don't really need it, and all sort of bullshit things. But we want it because our lives around money pretty much suck. Let's be honest. I mean, the majority of people in this country and the planet own like 2% of the wealth. We're like 90% or 2% control 90% of the wealth in this country and the world, okay? So, the whole point of this video is to say that you need to know where you're at. What are your numbers? So I'm telling you, like, I've done this. Like, once you know what your numbers are, holy shit. You will feel so much more better about where things are. 
you know, like you you'll feel more secure. And let's say like you know, because a lot of people like the question that they like that that they ask is like, how much money do you need in order to, um, you know, be financially secure and you know free? And my number is like a million dollars. And a lot of people think it's like two million, a billion, all these things, right? Depending on who you are. I'm telling you right now, if you if you do the steps, if you buy the book, your number is way lower than you think. My number, I thought it was a million. Turns out, just to be financially secure, bro, actually financially independent, I just need to make twenty-two thousand a year. On the ground, children, you know, children will be higher, but twenty-two thousand for financial security? Holy shit! And I thought I needed a million. So that's what my number is. Imagine, no, imagine what your number is. So I'm telling you, we and let's say let's say, let's say you do oh you do end up owing a lot of money, but it gives you steps and on things and how to invest and how you can cut the number down and get to where and get to where and get to where you want to be financially speaking, faster than you think you can. I'm telling you, once you've done this process, you just do these basic steps. You're gonna feel ten times better about money in general. Ten times better about you, your situation, and you're gonna go, oh my god, there is light in the tunnel. I can see it, and I'm glad I listened and like took this advice. I'm telling you, if you do this shit, you will feel way better about life. First thing was the money. Like I feel confident. I started investing, which I'm gonna do another, which I'm gonna do a video on anyway. You know, because my channel's about you know my channel may may be about mainly focused on parent stuff, but I also want to help you achieve you know financial well-being, physical well-being. So the financial part stuff is great and good to do. And uh, I'm telling you because it all ties to my parents too. Because a lot of us, a lot of us, got our um, beliefs about uh, beliefs about money from our parents. So it all relates. And then we get our eating habits from our parents, you know, and our fitness habits from our parents. So everything starts with the parents. Bing, dude, just made a connection. Mind blown. Thank you, family science. That's what I majored in. Anyways, I'm digressing. So. Figure out these numbers. I'll put them in. There will be in the description below what the formula is. I'm telling you, once you figure this shit out, and if you need to guess around the round the round the numbers, you can do that's fine. They can always be changed. But do this, and I'm telling you, shit, man. You figure out how much money you need to make to really achieve the lifestyle you want. And then when it comes to figuring out, you know, choosing a way to make more money, you'll have a better idea of what it is that really resonates with you, which if you're gonna make extra money outside your job, choose something that you feel you resonate with, you feel good, and because you, the belief in it and how you feel is, is what really drives you to make to make more money in what it in, in whatever it is that you that, that you want to do. So, hope this helps. Uh, like as usual, like the video, comment below, let me know what your thoughts are, and hey, you know you want some coaching sessions on this? Subscribe to my newsletter. You get a free session. The link, is, the link for that is also below here. And let's go, man. Let's get in the black. I love y'all. Peace.